everyone, my name is Vape Chiller, your average Pinoy vape reviewer, and today we're going to be reviewing the Mech Man by Rinko. Now, before we go into the review, I'd like to plug a couple things. First is my Twitch. I go live six times a week, twice a day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So make sure to drop by and say hi. Also got a Twitter that I don't really use, but might be useful to follow. And also Discord. We've built such a great community and I'd love to have you guys there too. We've also got a thing called Members Plus, which if you are of legal vaping age, you can sign up as well. Over there, you can ask as many vape questions you want. So make sure to check it out. Links are down below. So the mech man, really quick specs. It's a dual bat 18650, fires up to 228 watts, and has the usual things, variable wattage, bypass, and temperature control. The only thing different about this thing is this interesting leather type of design they've gone for. Anyhow, let's get down to the close-up, shall we? And so here we are with the packaging of the Mech Man. On the front of the box it shows all three stickers it can come in, as well as the designs of cases. The one I have right now is Steel Wings, a digital camo version. Here's the back of the packaging, what the package includes, authentication code, and their social medias. Here's what you'll find inside. Here we have the mod, the tank, spare glass, an extra coil, and a USB charging cable. Inside of the glass are some extra O-rings, so let's take a look at the mod. Here's the mod itself. Here you can see the sort of material they used for the camo, and you'll actually spot some wear and tear from everyday usage. So yeah, we have that camo print there. Over here we have the screen, the plus minus. Here's the firing button, and here's the battery door. Might not be able to spot the latch immediately, but it's right down here. It takes two 18650s in a series configuration, and a pretty good magnet. Here's what the bottom looks like, and there's the top. So let's take a look at the menu. Let's start off in variable wattage. Minimum is one watt, goes up in 0.1 increments, and it goes all the way up to 228 watts. More than enough, if you ask me. Click three times to change the mode. You'll see that's blinking. Click plus to go into bypass mode. After that is temperature control modes such as nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and TCR. The only other function on this mod is clicking both minus and plus at the same time, and that is to lock the wattage, and click five times to turn it off. Now let's take a look at this thing with the tank on. Pretty simple design. Sliding top to refill the tank, comes with a bubble glass, wide open airflow, and highly adjustable. Comes stock with a single mesh coil. Preferably, I would have immediately switched on over to the dual mesh. So that's pretty much it for this mod. Let's bring it back up for the pros and cons. And we're back for the pros and cons. Now, spoiler alert, this is gonna be really quick. And I'll tell you guys right after the pros and cons. Number one, it's got a very easy to navigate menu. Just three clicks and then you're into the menu. After that, it's left or right. And number two, it's good looking. I like the overall design of the mod, pretty aesthetic, but this thing right here I don't like. Which leads me to the cons. Number one, I really don't like this faux leather design. You see that little scratch down there in the camo? I made that a week ago to test if it would come back but it seems like it's there for good. What I might try later on if I'm still interested in this mod is take it off and make my own type of design on it. But yeah, I just wish they would've used some hard plastic or something. I mean, look at all the mods these days. They come with this resin stuff, right? But yeah, just something more durable would've been nice. And number two, <laughs> the tank, seriously. Not a fan. I mean, just listen to this. Even halfway closed. It only makes it worse. I swear to god, I could get someone's attention with this. <laughs> hey. The single mesh coil wasn't that good at all. However, the dual mesh coil was alright. Alright. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod. There's not a lot of pros that I can really say about it. And that's because it's just a basic mod. That's what it is. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the damn thing works. <laughs> pretty damn well, but there's nothing too special about it. I would say it's great for a starter variable. However, soon after those mesh coils die in the tank, I'd highly recommend switching on over to a better atomizer, whether it's an RDA or an RTA. It's up to you. The kit is worth it just for the mod. The tank isn't that great. But yeah, just because it's basic doesn't mean it's bad. It's good. It works. And at the end of the day, that's what you want your vape to do. Anyhow, that's pretty much it for this review. If you're interested in picking up a mech man, make sure to visit Rinko's website down below. But yeah, guys, um, I know I haven't been posting that much lately. Just kind of going through a rough patch again. Huh, <laughs> surprise. But I thank you all so much for coming back and watching these reviews. I hope that I can squeeze in a hotbox logs one of these days, if you guys still want to see those. But yeah, so let's do the outro. So if you like this review, make sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you have any more questions or comments about this mod, make sure to comment down below and I will reply. I've also got a Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook where I'm posting extra content, so make sure to visit that in the description below. Till next time.